Hi there and welcome to the shop. It's uh, Andrew with craftybeetroot.com and today we're working on something a little bit more practical. So I'm sure most of you out there that are doing YouTube videos are aware that we use remote microphones and I have a bit of an issue that on my camera where I've got the receiver it's just kind of dangling by the cord which is not great because the cord falls and drops and disconnects and it's just not a cool setup. So instead of spending any actual real money on solving that problem, I decided I was gonna make something. Now, being the way I am, I see cool, inspiring work all the time on Facebook. And one of the things that inspired me most recently was on the Punish Props Prop Tarts Facebook page um, by a cosplayer named, I'm not sure, um, names below and a link is in the description. And they made, some Borderlands style bags for one of their cosplays. And it has that cell shading to it that makes it look like from a comic or a cartoon, which just looked awesome. Now, being that I like bags, a few bag builds on this channel already, um, I really wanted to try that style, but I don't really have the need for a bigger bag. And that's where I thought that I could apply that style on a really small scale for this quick and easy build, make something practical, as well as something that hopefully looks good. So this will be the first time that I've done this kind of painting style, but hopefully we will figure that out. But first, we need a little thing to build with. Unfortunately, I can't show you the setup because it's attached to my camera, so I'll have to use uh, this one here as an example. But basically, I want it to be a case that looks like an ammo pouch from like a World War I, World War II leather pouch, and I want it to make sure it's got holes at the bottom for where the cords come out or at the top at the top and then it'll latch over with some magnets or something for closure. I'm going to be using some EVA foam that I have. I think this is 3 mil, 4 mil, something like that. That should be plenty strong enough for what I want and it should paint up and it should look like leather or at least the uh, fake leather that I need it to look like really easily. So with that to the building.
And like that, we are done. We've got a nice little catch. And you can see here that it should look pretty good. So I've just got a magnet and a catch. I didn't want anything too fancy because there shouldn't really be any weight. It's going to be sitting in there. I've got some holes for the cord and I've got a hold for the light so I can see if it's blinking or not and if it's so I can see if it's working or not which is extremely important. So now comes the really fun part and the bit I'm most nervous about is the actual painting. So so one thing that I haven't finished off yet is the back strap. Um, it can still kind of be pulled through. I'll probably glue it in place like that and I'll either put a magnet or I'll um, velcro or some eyelets or something. Um, but yeah, happy with how it's turned out so far. Now it's time for the painting. Wish me luck.
And here we are all finished off. We've got that pouch looking pretty good. Here's all the different angles and you can see it fits the receiver in it quite nice. And it just latches together like that. Now, this is my first time attempting a Borderland style paint. So I will have a few links in the description below about who I used as a template and who I used as inspiration and whose tutorials I used. There's quite a few out there and they're all helpful. It's not that difficult. This isn't perfect. I'm not pretending that this is gonna be a tutorial on how to paint like this, but more of a just a show that it's not that difficult if you just apply a few different te basic techniques. For the colors, I used a burnt sienna for that base color. And then I mixed that with some white acrylic just to make those highlights around the edges. And then for just some darkening, I added some burnt sienna with water and the buckle was just a black spray paint with some silver paint over the top. So I'm gonna put these plans up on my website. There'll be a link in the description below. You can scale it up, scale it down. It's a very basic build. There's only four or five pieces. Um, go ahead and have a look at that if you're interested. So if you're interested in more builds like this, go ahead and check out my website below, or you can subscribe to the channel. Look forward to seeing you on the next build. Thank you.